Zoom breakout rooms. First, you want to make sure that it's turned on. In Zoom.us, log in with your account, go to settings, and that breakout room, make sure it's turned on. And then if you're using the Zoom software, you might need to turn it, or you might need to log out and log back in to make sure that it works. And now we're in a Zoom session. And notice at the bottom of the screen here, you have this option, breakout rooms. We currently have six people in the meeting. And that six is including the host. So now I can split up these five participants anywhere I want to. I could manually put people in rooms. I could have Zoom do it randomly. And I could decide how many rooms. For instance, for five people, I could do two rooms. And then Zoom would put two to three people per room. I'll go ahead and create rooms. And notice what it did. It put three participants here in room one and two participants in room two. And you have several options here. You can set a timer or you can manually move people back to the main section. You can do a countdown here. You can also rename the rooms. Just hover at the room name, click rename. I'm going to go ahead and click open all rooms. Actually, I'm looking at the other computers and the people on the other side will get a note. The host is inviting you to join a breakout room, a breakout room one. And the people in the chat or people in the session will have to tap join on their computer. Now, once people tap join in the room they're assigned to, you won't see them anymore in the main section. But if you want to join one of the breakout rooms to see what's going on, see what people are discussing, you can simply tap join. So now I'm joining break, breakout room one. And no, I can see the three people in breakout room one and I can see myself. And I can leave that breakout room and I can return to the main section or the main session. And I say this time I might want to join breakout room two. I'll tap join. And now I can see the people that are in breakout room two. Then I could leave that. And I'm going to tap breakout rooms once again. I'm going to close all rooms. So people get about a minute to finish up what they're doing. And they're seeing the same notice. How many seconds will be before the room shuts down? Or they can go ahead and return before the timer goes off.